Welcome to Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday, brought to you by Big Beard Battery. Visit BigBeardBattery.com. So let's talk about this. You guys are still dabbling, thinking about jumping in solar, and you have to figure out, you know, you hear people say, how many watts do you have on your roof? Well, what they're asking is, how much potential power do you have to recharge your batteries? You see, what solar panels do is, is they actually recharge your batteries. So they're not there to actually provide power to your TV, but they recharge your batteries. The question is, is how many solar panels do you need in order to keep up with your demand? So the first thing you need to do uh, when asking how many solar panels do I need or how many watts do I need? What I want you to do is just write down all your must-haves. What do you need to have? You need to have your TV on? Well, we need to figure out the watts on that. You want your laptop? Well, we need to figure out the watts on that. You know, you want an air conditioner? <laughs> watts are you talking about there? We need to add all that up. Find out how much you use at one time. And then what we could do is take that total wattage and divide it by 120 because that's what we use inside our rig. We use 120 volts. Add everything up, you have your total wattage, and what we can do is figure out how many watts that we can put up on your rig. Now our rig has got limited space and we only have so much room to get up there. We've got air conditioners, we got vents, and we have to get up there and walk around and actually take care of maintenance. So you may start off something small. Get you a couple panels just, as, uh, just to help charge up the battery. Now, if you do want to go ahead and turn on your TV and your laptop, you could probably get away with three or four panels and be absolutely fine. Anywhere from 170 watts to 200 watt panels, right? Usually about two foot by four foot is how long they are. That's the space that they take up. And the max that you're probably going to see is roughly around 3000 watts. For those of you that just simply put every single type of uh, solar panel up there and you've got no room to walk. So we do have limited space to consider and wait. Now, in the grand scheme of things, solar panels are relatively cheap. You're gonna pay anywhere from 200 bucks to $300 per solar panel. You know, it's your batteries, your inverter, everything else that's pretty costly. The great thing about solar panels is you could start off pretty small and as time goes on, you can add that power to recharge your batteries. So the first thing you wanna do and you're looking at considering solar is find out what your must haves are. You know, actually going solar, living off grid is no fun if you don't have your must haves. So today let's talk solar panels. What are you talking about? Watts, it's a joke. I don't even know why I'm going that way. Let me just do this. It's about electricity. So what you need to do is you need to grab that solar panel and lick it. And let's see if we can back into a solar, um, a that's what I got. I don't even know why I was talking about the math. I was just sticking with watts, you know, and batteries. That's it. That's pretty much it, unless we got something. I mean, I got some. <laughs> Can you use that? Yeah. All right. Well, there you go.